guys, Jordan here, Mark here tuned with Wout from, how do you pronounce your company? Enzo. 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 I always say it wrong. Drift week, second track. We are at Honda Muscleman Circuit in Tucson, Arizona. In Tucson, Arizona. And we're gonna go drive. He just went out with his car. I changed the inner tie rod. We had like some off brand inner tie rod on my car. We put a Moog inner tie rod on. And how's that? Better than the no we name. Can, we cannot pronounce companies here, right? We can, you can pronounce whatever you want. No, no Moog or Moog is just like a replacement. Moog is just some random junk, but it says problem solver on the on the tire. I didn't know that. I it says know. problem solver, and the, the inner cup is a steel pressed in thing. Wow. It looks pretty legit. Wow. So, I now I ruined both. These are now a full set of Moog compared to a full set of random junks. Um, and then we're gonna go drive. So, see how it is. Everybody says the track is super slippery. Up to Jordan. We are changing out another set and another set and another set of tie rods pretty much and then while I'm down here my cool pump kept throwing a code I got a spare one but I don't want to be making a mess on the track with um, little coolant so I'm gonna leave it for now and the pins were a little bit corroded so I just clean them and put dielectric grease so hopefully that fixes that code and then yeah that's it I think because my steering wheel was off it wouldn't let traction control turn off now so we're gonna adjust it all and align it. We did the alignment. You guys did the alignment. Um, saw the deal. And we're gonna do the alignment. Now we're gonna go drive it. I guess a few minutes. Gonna tighten up the under panels because I do go off track a lot more than I should, and hit things a lot more than I should. <laughs> so like, not a great driver. But somehow lips made it this far, and uh, all the metal panels help. So I'm just putting the last few finishing touches on. Just to give you guys an idea, he washed this car about 20 minutes before we got Yo, to the track. The heck up. As soon as he got to the track. Look at his side skirts. It's like he went and played in the dirt. Let me live. Duarte's <laughs> wife was like, what the hell is that ball of dust over there? And then Jordan comes flying through it, like baja his car. No care. Love it. So I have the Savio spec alignment now to my car and hopefully the wheel straight and stops kicking me out of traction at all. So let's see, you know, watch me drive. All right guys, so welcome to Drift Week 4. We're at Muscle Man Trek. Uh, it's our second day here. Yesterday we all drove all day long. Jordan had a couple issues with the inner tie rods. We placed a couple, took all the play off. He's very sensitive with a little play on his um, tires. Uh, so we're in day two. We're about to go back on the track and Actually, he's about to go back in the track. I'm just gonna stay outside, catch some footage as much as I can. Stay tuned.
as you see, everyone's still ripping right now behind me. But I'm pretty much done. We're gonna head out a little bit early. Pretty cool. Yesterday, before, before we get to it, yesterday, Forrest, why I can get some laps in my car? Here's some GoPro footage of that. Not all of the dip would be a little bit weird. I tension up the dip, all that seems good now. I would have loved to do more laps and go through more tires, but I'd rather go finish Duarte's car. Here's how you're heading out. We're gonna get on the road and drive till 2, 3 a.m. And hopefully by the time we get there, they'll be uh, done with putting the sonar head on and I'll just go time the motor and then they can hop back in and get his car done and running and back on the road. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoy it and be sure to stay tuned.